guys welcome back to my channel and this is sonal hair so today we are going to learn some basic korean makeup this is so simple so bright all about looking young hope you guys enjoy and let's get this video started to begin with i'm going to spray some of my favorite facial mist and this is innisfree green tea mineral mist and this product is so refreshing so moisturizing so i already did my skincare before this makeup and i'm using this step to hydrate more my skin and korean makeup is all about using good skincare before makeup like hydrate your skin before any makeup and that's why their makeup and their skin is so glowing and so bright next i'm using in free no serum blur primer and i'm using this primer only where i have visible pores like on my forehead on my nose on my chin a little bit on my area around my nose I like using this primer only in summers not in winters because in winters I really like something hydrating. So I recently got this makeup base from cosmeticlove.com and I got this after reading so many good reviews about it and this is air cotton makeup base in the shade mint 01 and they have different shade 02 and lavender so this particular shade is really good for redness and as you can see i have pimple scars and some redness on my face so yeah this is really good for cancelling out your redness on your face so that's why i bought this For my foundation today, I'm using this ink lasting foundation from the brand The Face Shop and I'm in the shade 23 natural beige and this is the darkest shade they have. So I got this from South Korea again from cosmeticlove.com because this is not available in India. So I got this foundation because this is a hydrating foundation and coverage is really good and it doesn't look like flat on the skin. So Korean people always go with one or two shades lighter than their skin tone and but this shade is... to set everything in place. For my eyebrows today, I'm going to use this again in his free always new auto liner. So mainly Korean people have straight eyebrows, but I have arch. I've tried straight eyebrows before, but with straight eyebrows, I look flat. So here, first time filling in my eyebrows with the help of this in free auto liner and then brushing my eyebrows to soften any harsh line. Next, I'm using this eyeshadow from the brand Ip. Again, this is a Korean brand and the shade is 02, I believe. So, Korean people mainly use peach, pink, orange shade for their eyeshadow to highlight their eye area. So, here I am also using this shimmery orange shade first. I am putting this shade closer to my upper lash line and also connecting to my lower lash line. For my eyeliner today, Korean mainly use dark brown eyeliner on their eyes. So I am also using this dark brown eyeliner from the brand Mamonde. And this is a deep brown shade and 
shade is 02 and it has also a brush which is really really good quality and i like to use this brush for my eyeliner first i'm going to line my upper waterline and then line really closer to my upper lash line and i'm dragging this liner little bit outside my upper lash line here is one tip try to make your eyeliner as thin as possible because they have monolids so they don't go with heavy eyeliner look after this eyeliner i'm using this dark color eyeshadow to soften any harsh line so the idea using this eyeshadow above eyeliner is because this will give you like really soft look now i'm using the same eyeshadow for my agusal now if you don't know what is agusal then this is a under eye bags in korean called this cute skin they highlight this area because they want their eyes bigger and this area will make your eyes bigger and you can see difference here so if you don't have agusal just fake it after that i'm using this innisfree shadow this is a glittery shadow to make my under eye bag really big so yeah agusal is a really important thing in south korean makeup next curl your lashes and put on some mascara here i'm using tart tartiest mascara korean people have short and straight eyelashes so i also have straight eyelashes but i have fuller so i am only curling up my eyelashes with the help of curler and then i'm going to put on some mascara to give some length i like this mascara because brush hair is amazing and it's a lengthening mascara not clumpy and i really hate clumpy eyelashes to give some dimension to your face contouring word doesn't exist in south korean makeup instead of contouring they use the word shading for that they do shading because they want to frame their face so that their face looks slimmer for my blusher i'm going to use this pink blusher from the brand hikari Korean mainly use peach and pink blusher and blusher is a must have product in south korean makeup and it's all about rosy cheeks and blushing korean makeup is all about dewy and shiny makeup look so i'm not going crazy with highlighter i just need soft subtle and dewy look on my face so for highlighter i'm using this warm nude from the brand physician formula and i'm going to use this on my nose and on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead too for my last step, I'm going to use this red color lipstick and with this I'm going to create gradient lip look. First I'm going to apply only to the center of my lips and then I'm using this clean brush to blend this outwards. So this is my final Korean inspired makeup look and let me know what you think about this makeup look. And if you found this video really helpful then please subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video for more videos like this and I will see you in in my next video take care have a nice day and bye bye